Welcome back guys, we're back with the phaser. Uh, not much has changed, I messed around with the harness a little bit. Um, because obviously it doesn't fit in the phaser chassis very well. So I think I have it figured out where I want to mount all my electronics. Like all this is going to go on the back of that panel. So I've just been messing with that lately. But uh, what I want to do today is get this exhaust kind of reconfigured. Um, I found some springs, they aren't quite long enough, but, uh, or short enough, but I'll make them work. So, obviously, like, in the, in the, uh, VMAX, this was like that. And the problem with that is... It's so high up that, I mean, it's just going to, how will I ever put a hood on this thing, you know? So what I'm hoping to do is, let me see if I can get these springs off of here. Is get this piece to sit over here. That would be ideal but yeah if I could make that sit in there obviously this hose is problematic but if I could get like a big like 290s and just turn around because I have to make this go up there to where those two coolant lines end but yeah, so for today, I think I just want to try and get this exhaust refigured, and then uh, I'd like to build a can for it too. I bought some stuff, and I'll uh, let me grab that stuff. Up. So what I have for the can is obviously just some steel wool, but I got a piece of three-inch pipe, and this this is actually a uh, pellet smoker I don't know this is the closest I was looking for like perforated tubing and this was the per the closest I could find so what'll just happen is this will be inside of there and I'll have steel wool around the outside of it and uh, inlet and outlet which I have to find I saved them from the old muffler setup but I gotta find them um, but yeah it's looking like I mean, if I can get like an eight inch pipe in there, an eight inch can, that'll be plenty more than I'm expecting um, just because it's so pressed for room in there. And I mean, I don't really care. I'm not concerned with it being allowed, but uh, it's uh, kind of sound good. But, so yeah, let's get, uh, let's get cutting that muffler apart, the expansion chamber. All right, so I put the side panel back on uh, just to get a better idea of what kind of room I'm working with in there. And uh, it's not going to be too bad. But uh, yeah, I think in this whole Fasascus, we're going to have to, uh, I'm just going to make one cut at a time. And hopefully I end up working out. First one I think I'm going to make is right here. And so I can rotate that 180 and push all of this this way a little bit. All right, so I've got that piece cut and turned. Um, and my advice to anybody here thinking about cutting their expansion chamber and rewelding is don't do it because it's super thin and that was totally sucked to weld. Um, but I'm going to do it again. So now, I mean, it did give it did move that over quite a bit, which is good. <clears throat> but now I think I need one right there, and then I can turn that. All right, so I got that modified. Um, that was such a pain. Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing this if you're as bad a TIG welder as I am. It just, it's not any fun, so. So I might still have to pull it 
up a little bit. We might still have some hood problems, but um, I've got quite a bit more clearance over here. And uh, I think it's gonna work. Guys, I'm back and I brought a hood now. As you can kind of see, it's actually sitting on the muffler right now. So obviously we're gonna have some, some clearance issues with that, but at this point we're just gonna build the engine get everything running good and then we'll uh, we'll figure out the hood maybe I'll just build like a whole like one of the ones that's a frame and just stretch some trampoline material over it um, would like to keep the phaser look but I mean it's kind of hard to do when you shove something in it that shouldn't be oh well but uh, I was thinking and uh, because the outlet of my expansion chamber is so low, if I line, if I get the front lined up, so low, and I thought, well, that's gonna be really hard to make it go out of the bottom. And I've got this chunk that I cut off the stock muffler that. And I thought, what if I made it go up? And I've got the other end of the muffler. And what if I had like a side exit exhaust? And honestly, I think that would be pretty cool. So I think that's what we're gonna try. Um, I might just have to rethink where all of this is gonna go. Which this I could just flip around and put, put a little strap here and bolt it there. Um, my key is over here. The pull cord is it's like right there is the only spot where it doesn't hit on anything. I mean if it rubs on the gearbox, the chain case a little bit right there is fine. So what I might do is cut the loop off and just move it over here and uh, we'll figure it out with the panel. Why is this thing, this thing just doesn't want to fit in here for me anymore. I think it's supposed to be like, something like that. So what I'm thinking is actually I'll take a piece of plexiglass or plastic or something, cut it and fill that in, put my key switch right there, and then I'll just cut a little square right here. I don't care if that handle sticks out a little bit, it's not going to bother me. Um, I'm not going to have the oil and gas over there like factory sled would have, but we'll figure it out. But I think that's my plan for the exhaust now, is to actually go up with it. Get that bolt tight. And have, uh, have the exhaust come out like somewhere where the, the phaser is or that like no fear sticker is. Um, that'll keep it from powder bogging too, so. Yeah, I think that's the uh, the idea I'm going to have here. So I'm going to try and get, I got to take this hood back off, get out of my way. I'm going to try and get the expansion chamber held in there, kind of sitting where I want it to. So there are a couple of rules of nature that I know directly affect me. One rule is if, you, if a man takes a muffler off something, he has to run it straight piped to see what it sounds like. And we did that. We had it running open headers, open exhaust manifold, whatever you want to call it. The second rule is if you accidentally make a hood stack, you then have to start it again to see what it sounds like with that. So something else that I just found out with this, I have the throttle override uh, bypass right now, and it'll rev high enough to engage the clutches, so that's good. 
and I know that I put the engine in the right spot and the clutch is actually engaged, so that's good. So it's going to be a relatively short can, um, just to keep it as a side exit and not leave it as a hood stack. Um, but I think that would be enough. Like I said, I don't really care how loud it is. Um, just want to quiet it down a little bit. It's a little raspy. Straight pipe like that. So let's uh, let's cut this. All right. So excuse the messy workbench, but I have my uh, pellet burner tube in there. It's welded on the bottom, and then I put the uh, three-inch pipe around it and welded it on. Not the best weld. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove um, steel wool down around this until it's full and then I'll go cut that off flush with the three inch piece and, uh, and then we'll weld the top plate on and cut a hole in it. All right, so I got all the steel wool packed in there. I tried to record it in super laps, but my camera's not cooperating with me today. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the pellet smoker tube off, flush with the three inch pipe. All right, so I got that cut off now. Looks pretty good in there. Now I'm just gonna take this plate, weld it on top, and then we'll just use a hole saw, pop a hole in it, and then maybe I'll die grind it out a little bit to better fit the size of the tube inside. And then uh, then we'll have to figure out the uh, exit pipe of it, the tailpipe. But yeah, it's coming along. So unfortunately I didn't have, I don't have the elbow that I need to run the exhaust out the side right now. So I just kind of tacked my uh, tailpipe onto the can. Just I want to kind of see what it's going to sound like. gonna be too bad all right so there we are unfortunately I didn't get that completely done but it's very close so I just got to order that elbow hopefully I'll take care of that this week uh, get the wiring a little more cleaned up um, I need to put new bearings in the chain case and then I it might be ready for the first rip on it with my little temporary gas tank, uh, I have to adjust the linkage for the handlebars because it's not right. Um, uh, I have material coming to make tube running boards for it. I need to get another bolt in that. Yeah, she's getting close. Um, yeah, we'll rip it a little bit, and then I guess we'll, uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do with the hood. We need to get it tuned a little bit. I, it's, it's not liking this like uh, when I was running it there. It shut off, and no, won't start again. It's done that to me twice, so I don't know if I'm following the plugs out or what. what. I'm sure just starting it and just ripping the crap out of it isn't good for anything but it is what it is yep so that that's gonna be it for this video um hit that subscribe button if you want to see if i get this done no i will get this done 
Hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with this and see any other future projects I might have. Maybe leave a like if you like the video. And I'll see you guys next time.